There's nothing wrong with routine prayers, mealtime prayers, holiday prayers, prayers sent up as a flare, a distress call of help to the only one who can help us. But what if I told you there's a greater dimension to prayer? Because prayer ushers us into an extraordinary relationship, even for us ordinary prayers. This is the kind of power, the kind of possibility, we find in the Daniel prayer. The Daniel prayer is a commitment, and a commitment each of us can make. The original Daniel prayer was a desperate plea uttered by one man, Daniel, on behalf of his nation, Judah, that had come under God's judgment. For an entire generation, his people were held in captivity by their enemy, the Babylonians, and separated from God's place of blessing. Daniel chose to persistently pray, claiming God's promise for deliverance. God heard his prayer, kept his word, and set Daniel's people free. In this time when our own nation and the wider world face uncertainty and judgment, we too can choose to pour out our hearts to God in honest, longing prayer. We can rend our hearts, return to the cross, and repent of personal and national sin, then persistently pray until God keeps His promises, promises such as 2 Chronicles 7.14, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. God keeps His word, but He waits for us to pray before heaven is moved and nations are changed. Can we afford to pray like Daniel? We can't afford not to.